Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see number of passes in shell and tube heat exchangers. Our flagship course is Master Static Equipment Design and PV Elite and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform on scutoid.thinkific.com. Now, the next uh, part, which is number of passes. You know, many times we get confused with number of passes. So, one pass, it's very simple. The flow will come from one side and flow like this. Yeah. So, this is called one pass. We are talking about passes in tube side. Okay. So, when your fluid in tube side will pass only once in the shell, and it is one pass. Okay, very simple. So tube is come uh, side fluid is coming like this, going and then going out. Okay. If we see the front aid, you know, if we see the tube sheet, how it looks, the front aid and the rear uh, end tube sheets, there will be direct inlet in the tubes and from right hand side it will eject okay now what about two tube passes in the tube side okay so like it's there in youtube also even fixed type tube sheet if we provide a partition plate if we just divide the tube sheet in two parts we can have two passes okay now how will be the construction this is the front side tube sheet. We'll just divide. Let us assume there are eight tubes, you know. So we'll just divide in two. So in the first four, there will be inlet. All the fluid will be going inside from this. Okay. And then it will come out from the other side. There is no pass partition in the rear side. So it will enter in the next four and then they'll come out from this side okay so this is how it will flow in two pass okay now what about four pass if i have a four pass heat exchanger so how the division i'll make in the tube sheet that is what we have indicated so there is front tube sheet and there is rear and tube sheet so you can see the flow is coming like this entering in the two tubes which are available because of partition plate other tubes are not available for the inlet so all flow will enter in these two two tubes it will come out from these tubes other on the other side of tube sheet so one pass happened right now it will enter in the two other available tubes in the rear side okay it will come out like this in the front side so now two passes right now here the partition plate arrangement is such that now two tubes are available for entry so now it will enter in the available tubes and then it will come out on the other side so this is third pass okay now it will enter in these two available tubes and will come out from the other side so total four passes okay so this is how you know arrangement of baffles we can do you can also have two vertical uh, partition plates so that uh, you know uh, the flow can happen like these one partition plate and this another so now you have to divide the tubes such that there are equal tubes in all the passes okay so now the next part what if we have six pass how we'll do the partition arrangements so this is one you know there can be other possible arrangement also okay so you know 
if you want you can uh, just have a formula also for what should be my number of partition plates for number of passes okay so in one pass how many partition plate zero for two pass one partition plate for two pass we are talking about the front side partition plate numbers for four pass four divided by two so two partition plate will be required for six pass six divided by two so three so like that uh, you can have your numbers of how many pass partition plate required in the front side in the rear side there will be one less than what is there in the front okay now you have to just arrange the partition plate such that the number of tubes in each pass is equal okay and then your job will be done okay so now flow is coming like this it will go out from the next other side then it will enter it will come out in the second side again it will go in the front side it will in and then it will come out here okay so again there is two tubes which is visible it will go inside the other two tubes okay and then it will come out from those two tubes again two tubes is visible for that so it will enter enter for the fifth pass now so now it will come out here two tubes are visible it will enter for the sixth pass and then it will come out and it will go out from the nozzle okay so this is how we will have a six pass arrangement of partition plates for in depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description